because I was going to wrap it, but I was like, yo, I need to put this video out while my hair looks kind of okay. So that's what we did. <laughs> Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to slay your makeup if you wear glasses. So if you guys didn't know I wear glasses in most of my videos I have contacts in just because it's a little more like appealing to the eye because the lights and it's not like there's no glare on my glasses that you guys can see so that's the main reason why I wear contacts. But in today's video I'm going to be obviously wearing my glasses and showing you guys how I like to do my, my makeup when I wear glasses. Pretty much the face is the same. The only thing that really changes is like my eye look. I may do more bolder eye looks, like eye looks that are out there just to make my eye stand out because the glasses kind of hide your eye. So you want to accentu accentuate, <laughs> accentuate them so that they stand out. They're not like blocked, you know, by the glasses. That's what I like to do. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. And also, literally, if you guys saw, I don't know, I think it's still over my channel. The last time I straightened my hair, which was like not too long ago, I straightened my hair again. And since that video, like my hair seems like it has grown like tremendously. And it's like crazy to me because like, I don't know, I haven't really done anything to it. Maybe that's why, but that's not what this video is about. So. If you guys want to see how I got this look, mm -hmm, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys. So this is literally going to be a quick and easy video just because I already have my face done. Um, just because, like I said, that isn't the focus on today's video. I do want to give you guys some tips and tricks on you know, certain face products that you can use. When you wear glasses, you, you get that little line, like a demarcation right here. They do have a waterproof powder out there. I'm going to try to remember um, to look it up and link it in the description box below for you guys. That will help out a lot and that will prevent, you know, that line from showing up there. I don't personally have it just because I, when I do my makeup, when I wear my glasses, I don't put as much product on my nose. So I don't really have that problem. That's another tip for you guys. Um, not to use as much product as far as like your face like you would do everything normal your eyebrows and everything it's just that nose portion sometimes can become a problem when it comes to your makeup so let's go ahead and get into the eye it's a very like simple look like i literally was in the bathroom and i just threw a bunch of colors together and i came up with that eye so literally if i can do it you guys can do it i'm gonna go in with I'm gonna take my glasses off so I won't be able to see you guys. But I do have my handheld mirror here. I'm gonna go in with this concealer here to act as my primer. A little flat brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. What this does, if you guys don't know, it, it just makes your eyeshadow pop a little more because you're putting your eyeshadow on a lighter base. And when you do this, it's okay, to, I mean, it's okay to use a concealer that is the, the same color as your skin tone or close to it, but it's better to use a, a concealer that's a couple shades lighter than your skin tone, just so those colors can pop. If you're using a lot of colors, those colors can pop on your eyelid a lot better. And don't mind my faces, I, I, I can't see, so I'm squinting. <laughs> So now that we have this all nice and blended out, I went in with this shade right here, this dark brown shade. And I took, where's the brush here? I took this little like flat brush here and literally what I did was packed it like all over my eye in my crease area on the outer V. I packed it all over my lid. And as you guys can see, you get a decent amount of pigment from using that. And literally I got that from the Dollar Tree. Literally, that product. And then I take this little blending brush here and then I go in and blend that out. We don't really have that many palettes, like eyeshadow palettes and stuff. You gotta come up with stuff to, you know, <laughs> to get you an eye look together. I'm just packing it on and then blending it out. I use this basic palette. This is literally the only like real eyeshadow palette that I have. And I went in with this color here. 
it's not a shimmer. It's, it's I don't know what it is, but. I then went in with this color right here. It's like a grayish color. And I packed that on my outer V using the same little dense brush here. This is a little palette here. I'm gonna go in with this, this white shade here, this white shimmer shade, and I'm gonna add that to the inner corner of my eye. I just made that look easy, huh? <laughs> as far as my lip, I don't like to do much with my lip because I want the focus to be on the eyes. So on my lips, pretty much, I would just put like a lip gloss or um, Vaseline or something on my lips just to keep them moisturized. May I may put a tinted little lip gloss or something on, but other than that, I don't do much with the lips. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It'll be, it won't be linked in the description box below. What am I talking about? It's the little button that's located on this side of the screen. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload a video like this or anything else, you know, cause I post a lot on my channel. So yeah. I will see y'all in my next upload. Bye.